Ada County was established by the Idaho Territorial Legislature back in 1864. And back then it was common for lawmen to wear the headgear of the times, you know, like a 10 gallon wide brimmed bucket, a cowboy hat, if you will, even if punching cows wasn't your thing. And that style lasted a very long time. I mean, take a look at this Ada County Sheriff's Office photo from the late 1950s. Sheriff Myron Gilbert and his staff, and you can see how many deputies in this photo are wearing a wide brimmed hat. I think there's like nine of the 13 there in the background. Sheriff Gilbert there in the front also wearing one and several others out there by the car. It appears bow ties were also kind of optional at that time. Back then, though, they had about two dozen deputies in the Ada County Sheriff's Office, and a lot has changed since then. Sheriff's Office employs hundreds of deputies now, and somewhere along the way, the way of the lawmen in Western wear, that went away as well. But now it's being brought back, sort of. Not as a standard, but more of just because of health care. Here's Joe Paris. There is a change on the streets of Ada County. Deputies may soon look a little different to you. We've allowed them to add a cowboy hat to the uniform if they'd like. Ada County Sheriff Matt Clifford says some of his deputies tried the cowboy hat look at the Eagle Rodeo. Trying to beat the heat, it was a hit. And then what the final straw, uh, no pun intended, the final straw was uh, I was out in CUNA at an event and the sun was just beating down on me. I was wearing this uniform. I had a a detective next to me who's trying to hide under a baseball cap to keep the sun off of him. And I went out and bought a cowboy hat the next day and I wore it to the star 4th of July the hometown celebration. Some deputies debuted the new look at the Western Idaho Fair. They got great feedback on their new look from Idahoans, Clifford says. And there are rules with the hats that deputies must follow. First, they are optional. Deputies still have the option to wear an Ada County style baseball cap if they want. Hats can only be worn with the traditional tan uniform, and they must be of the white straw variety. If the hat has any brands or anything like that, not allowed to display any logo, symbols, emblems, pins, anything like that. The classic look to a Western Sheriff's Office, and I mean, we're a Western Sheriff's Office, and I've always kind of liked that look. I'm not a cowboy. Uh, in fact, I know very little about cowboy hats. Sheriff Clifford does know that the hats are not only a cool Western look, but they also serve a very real purpose. We've had some deputies here that are, you know, we're all hitting the dermatologist. Uh, they're out in the sun quite a bit. They're getting, you know, spots frozen off here and there. We've also had, uh, you know, a number of people that have gone in. And it's not all related to the job they do here, but they're getting melanomas cut off of them. Uh, and I had, a, uh, I had a family member die last year from skin cancer, and that really kind of hit home uh, where I, you know, you don't, it seems like when you talk about skin cancer, all you hear about is, well, I got it frozen off, I got it cut off. Um, and then to have somebody pass away, you re realize how serious it is. And so uh, I've been trying to stay out of the sun a lot more, and along comes this cowboy hat idea, and it really works great. And to answer your question at home, yes. The sheriff has his hat ready to roll. New hat? New hat. So I've, I've had this one since uh, the day before, or just before 4th of July, so I think July 1st. So like I said, I'm not, I'm not a... A cowboy guy, but I, I got one that I thought looked okay and fits my head. So straw hats, they aren't great for the winter and the cold temperature. So Brian, the search is on for the Ada County Sheriff's Office. They're going to get some good felt hats that they could wear during the, uh, the, the winter, colder months. So that's, that's an ongoing effort. And I do yeah. want to say for everyone counting pennies at home, this is not going to cost any taxpayer dollars. Ada County is not buying hats for the deputies. They're not giving okay. them, you know, hats at a cost. If you want to go buy your own hat as a deputy and it falls within the, the rules, you can do that. Do we know why they just kind of went away? Like looking at that old photo back in the late 50s, early 60s, I mean, they just kind of just for lack of a better term, just went out of fashion? Yeah, I was talking with the, the sheriff's office for the story and Sheriff Clifford says they think in the 70s or 80s is kind of when they got uh, you know, phased out for whatever reason at the time. And so it's been decades since the Ada County Sheriff's Office, probably since the 70s or 80s, yeah. since you would see a sheriff deputy in a hat like that. But they're back. How long will it last? Is this going to be successful? Will other departments around here copy? We'll see. And to be clear, by the way, Ada County is not the only uh, law enforcement agency that allows cowboy hats like this. No, you see, ISP has the wide brim hat, but I've noticed over the last 10 years or so, Agencies across the West have picked this up as kind of their thing too. Yeah, it's it is. It's a cultural thing too. Yeah, so for sure. Go. All right, thanks, Joe.